New at 530. It's been four years since the March for Our Lives in our nation's capital, created in the wake of the Parkland shooting. To mark the occasion, gun reform activists displayed more than 1,000 body bags in front of the Capitol building. The bags represent the people that have died from gun violence since the original March for Our Lives back in 2018, following the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas massacre that left 17 students and staff dead. Manuel Oliver, whose son Joaquin was one of the victims of the Parkland shooting, joined demonstrators today and called for the same support the march saw four years ago. I hate to think that some of these people that were here four years ago now take this as a normal thing. We, they were able to follow the game of our politics, um, thinking that this is okay, that it could happen, and you can continue with your life. And the answer is no. I call for them to come back. I call for them to start demanding louder than before. Since his protests outside the White House back in December, Oliver says he's been in contact with lawmakers to discuss solutions. Meantime, the Department of Justice has awarded a $2 million grant towards school safety initiatives in Florida public schools. Safe Schools for Alex, in collaboration with the University of Florida, will use the funds to develop an enhanced school safety dashboard for state schools. Safe Schools for Alex was created by Max Schachter, whose son Alex was also killed in the Parkland massacre. Work on the pilot program is set to begin in the coming months and will continue through 2024.